Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the anti-diabetic drugs of the class sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitors. These are the medications ending with the suffix gliflozin, and they're used to treat type 2 diabetes. Almost all glucose reaching the kidneys is filtered, and it passes into the renal tubules where it should be eventually excreted in urine. However, there is a receptor in the proximal convoluted tubules called the sodium glucose co-transporter. This receptor reabsorbs sodium and glucose together. That's why it's called co-transporter. It's responsible for the reabsorption of about 90% of glucose. And it has a threshold of about 200, which means that anything more than 200 will be excreted in urine. For example, if sugar level was 250, 200 will be reabsorbed by this transporter, and 50 will be filtered in the urine. Anti-diabetic drug of this class, like canagliflozin, work by inhibiting this transporter, which results in excessive glucose loss in the urine. This, of course, makes the patient prone to UTIs, as bacteria thrive on sugar. And because the receptor is also responsible for sodium reabsorption, the patient will be severely dehydrated, as the presence of sodium and glucose inside the tubules pulls water into the lumen by osmosis. So, side effects wise, we have obviously glucose, urea, and UTIs, vaginal yeast infections, hyperkalemia, dehydration, which commonly results in orthostatic hypotension and weight loss. Keep in mind that the weight loss is a result of water loss, not fat tissue loss. Sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitors, along with GLP-1 analogs, are the only anti-diabetic medications with positive effects on the heart. So they are cardioprotective. One of the most important side effects of this drug is ketoacidosis. This is significantly higher in patients with renal insufficiency. So the drug is contraindicated in any patient with renal failure or any patient with history of DKA. And here's a small quiz for you. Which of the following anti-diabetic medications is also known to cause weight loss? Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps and thank you so much for watching.